talk to you about welts. These are welts that you see here. There are actually 13 individual ones in this Stephen West majestic mountain pattern. This is a saddle shoulder. It's almost like an epaulette. So that's the collar. And on one shoulder, you have all of these individual welts. And I'm just beginning to work on the other side. I'm gonna show you how you achieve these welts. So I happen to have 17 stitches on my needle and I'm just using my Chalgu points without the cord. I have enough cords going on here. I've knit the requisite number of rows and now this is going to get turned under and connected with these. Let me show you how I've been achieving that. This is the point of the needle that I'm working on. So I want to orient this point in the same direction. This is a thinner needle than the one that I'm knitting on. So it facilitates picking up these stitches. And what I'm going to do is pick up 17 stitches along a single row. I'm just going under each one. One at a time. And I want to count because I need to get to the same number, 17. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. I need to pick up two more. So if I grab this one. And the one at the very, very end of the row. Then I'm going to pinch these two needles together, flip it around so that the right side is facing me. I want to get my working yarn in good position to begin knitting. So these two needles are parallel. And I'll come with the needle that I'm actually going to knit onto. So almost like a three needle bind off, I'm going to go into this first stitch. I'm, I have double strands going through this. So my first stitch is really comprised of two. The first stitch is really the hardest because everything is sort of wobbling around. So I'm going through the front loop of this one, through the back loop of that, because I put the stitches on twisted. So now I have my needle through those two stitches. I'm going to pick up my working yarn, pass it through the back loop, pass it through the front loop, and slip it off both needles. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you that again. The first stitch is really the sloppiest because everything is flopping around. So again, that's through the front stitch, through the back of the back stitch, grab my yarn, pull it through, and pull it through that one too. So here it is. I'm gonna slip it off the front needle and slip it off the back needle. Again, through here, through there, grab my yarn, pull it through, pull it through, and slip those off. I'll keep doing it a few more times. Slip it off that needle, slip it off that 
through the front, through the second needle, grab my yarn, pull it through, pull it through, and now just carefully slip it off the front needle and slip it off the back needle. You can start to develop a rhythm after you've done a couple hundred of these. Let me work across the rest of the row and show you how it looks. The instructions for the pattern do not tell you to use this two needle method. They just tell you to go across a row and pick up one at a time those stitches in that row. But I thought this organized everything all in one place. And then I could quickly move across the row instead of searching for the stitch each time. I thought this really expedites things. Plus, I know that they're all on the same row because I mounted them on the needle moving across that single row. And at this point, I just checked to make sure I've got three on each needle. Good. So I didn't drop anything and I didn't cast on the wrong number on that back needle. Now I just have one on each needle. Just like the first stitch, the last stitch can be tricky because there's not a lot holding it in place anymore. Okay, now I can remove both of those needles. And there I've created a third welt. Welts can be used on cuffs. If you have a sleeve and you want to put a, a decorative cuff on it, it can be used in all different kinds of ways. This is the first time I've seen them used as epaulets going across the shoulder. This is what the back, the underneath side looks like. So it's very smooth, should be very comfortable for the wear. There's what it looks like on the side. These are rather deep. You don't have to make your welt that deep and you can make, depending on how you're using it, you can make them layered. One is longer than the other. So they would be kind of stacked up to you. I hope that helps you.